Hey everyone, uh, so welcome back. Uh, yeah, it's Stratlaw44 here. Hope you're having a great day so far. Um, so basically, this is uh, pretty much a, a video talking a little bit about uh, trading. Uh, you're going to see lots of clips in the background about various trades that uh, I've been doing. Um, and I'm going to talk about them and just kind of explain maybe a few things I've sort of discovered in my time uh, playing Rocket League and my experience of trading overall. Uh, so as you can see in the background, uh, basically there's a sky blue Insidio. Uh, actually, I buy it off a guy today uh, for 200 credits. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, is it the best trade ever? Mm, depends. I mean, Insidios aren't exactly hugely popular, but however, for 200 uh, credits, it's pretty much a bit of a steal. So, um, you know, if I do decide to sell it, a little bit of a profit. Now, pretty much then, uh, following on to that, was that a little while back, I actually uh, bought a Cobalt Sub-Zero, uh, which was quite nice, to be honest, like quite decent. But in truth, you know, a large part of it was just to, that uh, newer gold explosions came out that were much cooler. And I decided that in my infinite wisdom that perhaps it wasn't quite the gold explosion for me. Now, a lot of things that I will say uh, with, you know, regards to the app or Rocket League in general is, is that, you know, buying little things is probably the way to go if you're trying to make a bit of a profit. Uh, so this one was a little bit bigger. I paid uh, 2350 uh, for a Cobalt Sub-Zero, which actually as a bonus had a goalkeeper cert as well. Not bad, not the most, uh, the cheapest ever, but not the most expensive. I thought, yeah, we'll give this a try. Let's see uh, how this is. Thought it was quite cool. Uh, you'll see it sort of show in the background. It's quite nice, but to be honest, it's very, very similar to the original in regards to the animation. There, you can sort of see there. Uh, just going over to it uh, now, you'll see the children dragons in the background briefly while I find it. Of course, it's uh, under S, uh, so there we go. But as you can see, very similar. Looks pretty cool. Um, I do like it. But I wasn't really using it, and I thought that uh, I could make maybe a little bit of money. And this guy was someone who wanted it. Um, I made sure to advertise the certification on it, because, again, sometimes that can be really important, sometimes less so, depending on maybe what it is. This guy clearly was a collector of Goalkeeper, which he told me afterwards, and he specifically wanted this one, because there wasn't any others like it, actually, on the app at the time. So, of course, there's always a, a bit of an opportunity to make a bit of profit. Um, I went for and agreed for 3001 so I made about 850 uh, credits I could have maybe pushed him a little higher that's just probably the the one thing that I would say uh, sometimes it's just knowing when to maybe stop and not get too greedy and to take a good offer uh, when it comes because you can get too greedy and unfortunately you can pretty much lose out on a deal that maybe was uh, absolutely better but yeah a nice 850 profit which then led to me actually buying an airstrike in sky blue so that all worked out now, the final trade that I'm going to talk about um, a, in more detail is going to be this one. And then what I'll do is, is I'll just talk about some things I've discovered personally. And hopefully it helps you guys out. As I said, I'm not the most experienced trader. I'm not the biggest expert compared to some. However, um, I certainly have dealt with sales in my real life, in my jobs and things. And I kind of learned to adapt it to, to Rocket League. It's not much different in regards to dealing with, say, a product, shares, anything like that. Although that's a bit more complex, it's still pretty much a way of you know can you buy an item and then make a profit on it and you know if you can sell it so if you can buy an item for a cheap price look for a bargain and then get uh, you know money for it or extra credits as it would be in, in rocket league then that is pretty much the way to go now this is my biggest trade now this one was a bit more nerve-wracking uh, especially given that i was scammed a few weeks ago which uh, i'm sure some of you will have seen that video unfortunately i was uh, subject to someone tricking me and i felt very very upset so this was quite nerve-wracking now in this instance because i am on ps4 uh, my friend actually was on share play watching this as well i wanted just a second pair of eyes just in case for any reason i missed anything i didn't think i would but you know a second pair of eyes never hurts and that pretty much is kind of uh, the way that i looked at it so what we agreed was a crimson octane with playmaker a cobalt octane a uh, chameleon with striker which is something i wanted for myself uh, a helios black boost which he'd offered which okay uh, a black standard and he also so then threw in um, an orange interstellar with striker and a sky blue interstellar as well and 8,000 credits now give or take that maybe the market at the time that I did the trade because this was a little while back uh, hadn't crashed quite so hard so bear in mind that you know the crimson octane was going for around about 4,800 thereabouts cobalt octane was about 1,200 and the art helios boost was a bit more as well so there was a couple of things that were a little bit more value uh, and unfortunately due to kind of like a major crash 
it kind of went down a little bit in price and, and sometimes timing is a massive factor when it comes to into trading in general because if you can buy items when they're cheap and then sell them when they're more expensive you can make profit and that is pretty much the way to go and i would say that you know in my experiences that i would generally advise that for a lot of you and including myself as well to an extent is i would go for the smaller profits rather than the big ones yes it, it's all very nice to make you know 850 2k 5k profit absolutely fantastic but however uh, that isn't always the case now as you can sort of see here i'm checking very carefully because i don't know the guy at the time i'm checking with the uh, the r3 button or the item item expect checking each item making absolutely sure it's all okay my friend can see it as well and the trade was for these items for the titanium white octane which actually ironically went up a bit in price so i think i did lose out a little bit but it worked out because actually this guy uh, remained on my friends list we've actually uh, played some games together chatted and stuff so in the end it didn't really matter that much and i didn't know him before this trade so it was kind of like quite a pleasant one because we spent about a good 15 minutes after the trade just chatting and showing each other like decals and cars and various bits and it's a very nice trading experience you don't normally get that most of them are just flat out thank you see you bye gone and this was quite nice so as you can sort of see you know we're just making absolutely sure that everything is together um, it's quite nerve-wracking because you know what i am checking for is just to make sure that nothing is changed actually afterwards he said the same thing that they were actually nervous uh, about the trade and worried that it was going to get swapped that there was a scam because there's just so many scammers around and i've done many videos about um many of those things um i'll link them in the description in case you want to check them out because hopefully they can kind of help just in case you are a little worried um it is definitely worth taking your time do not rush any trade at all especially the bigger ones now getting into the final parts then of the video which is, is something, I, something i wanted to talk about is of course when you trade on the rocket league garage or in game i suppose but you know obviously in game you need to know the prices of things and you need to know that you know the people that you're dealing with don't necessarily understand or know each individual item's value and it depends on maybe like how you are in morals uh, regards because sometimes you know people say oh it's, it's, this is worth 200 right and you've got an opportunity to go i think so or to kind of lie and that is really 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 hard um and it's little purchases like this so these are, are emerald wheels they've gone down in price a little bit i got it off this guy for 150 and if i want to keep them great which i probably will but you know if i get bored of them or want to sell them at some point i have a feeling that emerald wheels will rise back up again and i think that there will be a little bit of a profit it is a risk i mean i think with anything you purchase there is no guarantees with any of this because unfortunately you can buy one item and it can go up in value and you can be like yes that was brilliant and you can buy another one and it just doesn't it tanks so you know sometimes it's good to buy items that you don't mind keeping but i would also stay away from items that you're too sentimentally attached to because you may never sell them and you might end up keeping them anyway which is part of my problem actually i tend to keep a lot of items that uh, perhaps i could have sold uh, but they're always a backup in case one day i need them and that sort of thing as well now as you can see i sort of then pretty much move on uh, to of course uh, actually selling uh, the cobalt octane which was nice um and literally i get rid of the crimson one as well a bit later on uh, for an airstrike which i showed in another video uh, so that one is uh, something that come in handy for there uh, but as you can see the cobalt octane uh, i get a thousand credits for it not the biggest profit because of course i had to trade a titanium white for all those items but i wasn't using it i already had a sky blue and an orange and i just thought you know what i'll take the credits because credits are handy and there's always other things to buy and then in the shop a little while later drawing dragons in sky blue turned up so i bought that no investment in it uh, unfortunately shop items you're never going to be able to trade but they are for purely for your use and i absolutely love sky blue as a color and the stewarding dragons is like one of my favorite gold explosions so yeah uh, so pretty much with items i mean what i would recommend is just being very sort of like selective if you know roughly the values of what people are trying to sell them for and you can see an opportunity where it's cheaper yeah it, i mean like with the app mainly uh, it does require you to maybe check around see what kind of prices they are see what people are prepared to pay uh you know sometimes it's good to have a look on the list and see what people are wanting because then if you see something that is, is a good opportunity then of course you might well be able to do this now this one is an interesting one so basically what i do is is that i get rid then of the black helios boost uh, I pay 1800 credits and the guy then gives me um, like emerald wheels in grey, uh, emerald wheels in uh, burnt sienna and cobalt uh, like wheels as well, uh, emerald wheels. Now this one is a bit of a risk and I wouldn't recommend taking any risks that you can't 
you know afford or can't manage to do because if you you know take this risk and then you lose out you may thoroughly be gutted uh, basically I'm taking the chance that these wheels are going to go back up at some point um, I am using the blue ones but the burnt siennas and the greys I don't necessarily plan to use I might I might not and I thought you know what um, I'll take these now because then eventually hopefully they will be actually worth something in the future now the next one then was just a little bit of a sort of like a, a trade uh, which comes up actually for the crimsons uh, which was the crimson emerald wheels as well now this one was was a big risk and again uh, actually it didn't quite work out as planned but the the principle was was here very much so this one is a bigger purchase um, again as I've said before do not do purchases you cannot afford personally I would recommend with trading is to focus on little items uh, as much as you can because let's face it unless you've got plenty of credits just lying around this is a risk and you may or may not lose out this one actually paid off uh, I paid 4350 for some crimson emeralds uh, very nice wheels very uh, slick very deluxe and I like them a lot now emerald, emerald wheels crashed not too long ago in regards to price but already uh, weirdly enough that glitched as well which was very strange but anyway um, what happened is is that actually already on the app and things I've already seen them for sort of 5,000 at the lowest price up to six or seven so if I did want to resell them um, then I could and I could make money on them if I wished 2,000 credits thank you very much at the moment I am keeping them but you know that may kind of change in the future who knows um, so this one was just a, a little trade where again uh, just something small nothing too major uh, this guy wanted a black overgrowth which I had uh, again if you're not using things in your inventory uh, be it past stuff or any other items sometimes rather than hanging on for it if you can make a use and get a trade for an item you actually want then that's absolutely brilliant this guy did 250 credits and an orange carna decal for my octane um, I gave him the black uh, sniper uh, overgrowth the sniper was just a cert that happened to be on it he was very happy with the deal I was happy with the deal because I didn't need it but bear in mind that the overgrowths they are quite valuable to a degree uh, so you know if you do have one in white or black I think there might be one other color like crimson or something they are worth a little bit more than the average so he was well happy so was I profit wise um, well you know I got the pass item for free so I technically made 250 and got a decal that I actually use currently on my orange octane so realistically quite a nice little profit nothing too major and quite reasonable uh, so the last one then pretty much uh, for this video is going to be um, a sparklet boost now realistically sparkly boosts have gone up massively in value uh, they're very much more expensive than they used to be and I ended up paying a thousand credits for it which I in my mind I think is good value and I'll tell you why because they are worth a lot more than that and if you check the app there's hardly any and you could probably sell it for at least 2,000 maybe 2,200 at a push uh, so yeah I mean like obviously things like that really help and, and it's just a, a way of making that little bit of extra profit so just to pretty much summarize before the, the end on my first trading up video is go for smaller items if you can. If you can go for bigger items to but make sure that you know like it calculated. Don't get too attached to the items if you can escape it and pretty much just make sure that you know the values of each individual item because you know there may be some items sitting in your inventory that perhaps are actually worth something. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed and liked the video. Uh, if you did drop a like, uh, subscribe if you want to like see future Rocket League videos but otherwise that is it for me. So you take care and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now. Bye.